Okay, today's little project, we've got a, uh, a little kitchen area that's going back of a, what is it, 2002, I believe, uh, Dodge Caravan. Uh, the lady wants, wants a small little kitchen that she can set in and out. Uh, she wants running water. Uh, she wants a battery in it, that way she can uh, hook up her solar and have a way to, to run lights and charge her phone and stuff like that. She's going to be doing some uh, concerts and stuff, kind of reliving her youth as uh, a few of us of a certain era like to do every now and then. Make us feel young and then it takes us a while to recover. So we're gonna get started with that today. Uh, she has picked out an interesting stain that we're going to be uh, staining the cabinet once it's completed. Uh, Let's see, I don't know how well you can uh, check out my little crude drawing here. The bottom section here, that's going to be down in where the, uh, the storage well, underneath where the third row seating is, that's where that's going to be at. Uh, there's going to be a little storage cabinet on each side. In the center, she's got a cooler that, <clears throat> a cooler that she wants in there. Uh, the bottom will be pots and pans, and then this right here will be a little drawer that slides out for the uh, um, for a little butane stove. And then it's got a, uh, a backsplash here that's about 12 inches tall. She's got a little uh, rail uh, for some IKEA uh, little pans to hang on that, so we're going to put that on there. Then on the on the back side of it, I'm going to put a uh, dual USB and a 12 volt plug that way she can charge her uh, phone and stuff from in the front of it where she's going to put in a put in a little bed that way uh, it's something that she can take out because this is her primary vehicle she is a uh, kind of a traveling nurse type of deal so uh, you know she wants something that she doesn't have to carry around all the time just whenever she needs it so Let's uh, get some plywood in here and get started. Okay, I've got uh, some of the pieces cut out and started getting them glued together here. Uh, these little dividers here, they're not fastened in yet. I'm going to go ahead and build the, uh, the drawers for the little butane stove and get the spacing and everything. And then uh, she has a cooler that will be going in here. Uh, is a 15 by 15 cooler and then whatever's left over here I'm just gonna make a couple little uh, little drawers for there for for storage there will be another piece that goes under here I'm gonna build it separately because this is a cabinet that whenever she decides to upgrade to a bigger van we're going to uh, uh, take the bottom off and reuse so it's not like it's just built for this van and, and we're just going to leave it. So, kind of give you a little look here. This is the backsplash that she wanted. She's got like a, a little bar that's going to go across here to hang some, some little cans that she got from Ikea. And then this will be the backside, which will also be the headboard to her bed. And then right along in here somewhere, I'm going to put a 12 volt plug and a dual USB. That way she can charge her phone and her computer and stuff right there off the battery. That'll be underneath of it. So that's the progress so far. I'll get back after I get some more done. Okay, it's been about uh, probably two weeks on this project here. I uh, had a couple other vans come in I had to take care of. But... Uh, this is that little riser there is where the faucet's going to be for the for the water. Uh, she opted not to have a sink uh, inserted into the top. She's going to use a collapsible bowl, so that way she's got full counter space whenever she's not using it. And then the backsplash, and then this little compartment here is where her stove goes. And down here is a big drawer. That's got a little notch cut out of it for the for pots and pans. Here is a, a drawer that slides out for the uh, 
for her cooler and then she's got a silverware drawer and then a spice drawer so that's all sanded getting ready to be uh be stained now and then this is the back of it which will be her headboard to her bed and then right here will be a, a voltage gauge for her battery and then be a dual USB and then a 12 volt plug and then there's one there's her uh, silverware drawer and then there's her little spice spice drawer and then there's the others they're sanded and ready to stain so I'll be back whenever they get finished okay this is the uh, van that that uh, orange cabinet is going into I've got the base for the cabinet that's a 13 gallon uh, water tank and then that is a 100 amp hour Renergy gel battery and she uh, provided a I think it's a 50 watt solar panel and it comes with a little charge controller we mounted that here on the side and this van did not have a roof rack so we put a installed a roof rack and then mounted the panel in the middle so if she wanted to later on she could upgrade and put a little bit bigger panel on here without any issue and then uh, last night we got it all put back together there's two uh, two lights here that run off the house batteries essentially this is going to be like a uh, a teardrop except it's you know her, her vehicle so she'll be able to open that she'll have the the countertop here the stove and the drawers and everything will pull out and then she'll sleep on the other side of it okay there's uh, the finished product i do have to get a little bushing in order to hook up the uh, the water fill tube to the tank uh, i thought i grabbed the right size but i didn't so i'll grab that in the morning but uh that's it it's it's in there this is the little bar that she wanted that goes from ikea uh, that's got different uh, things that hang on that this here is the uh, water fill for the tank That's where her uh, butane stove will be, so she can stand here. Uh, the front end of the van's facing downhill, but she'll be able to stand here and cook. And then down here is her uh, drawer for her pots and pans. And I put that little cut out there. That way uh, she can still access her pans if she's cooking and needs another one. Soft, soft closed drawers. And if she needed to, they can still access the battery. And then uh, this one here is for her cooler. And it's a flip-up lid. That way she can uh, she can get access to her cooler easy. And she can be able to look down in there and see, uh, see how much water level she's got. And then... That's her uh, silverware drawer or her spice. She said she hasn't quite decided yet. And then the bottom one down here is uh, either spices or silverware. You know, just depends on what, uh, what she's got. She's got storage here on both sides. And she can still access the, the jack down here. And then, like I said, she wanted running water, so she has running water. This is not the uh, the bowl that uh, she's going to be using. She has one like this that collapses down. That way she can stick it in here easier. And that's why I had to put the riser on there, so you still get the bowl up underneath of it. And there's her charge controller. Um... She can put a light, like a little light strip across here if she wanted to. 
and this uh, charge controller does have a uh, a button there for for lights and the dual usb on it and then on the headboard side there's a uh, voltage gauge and a dual USB and a 12 volt plug and then she's gonna put her her bed down here on the floor and use that as a headboard and with uh, them three bolts this whole unit you tip it back toward toward me toward the front seats it will uh it'll go right out the back so there's another look at the uh, solar panel so all right that's uh that's another project down hope you guys like the video uh please like subscribe comment share if you need anything done feel free to look me up at uh, reds custom design uh, of course here on youtube facebook instagram my website or you can email me at uh, reds custom design at outlook.com and uh, i am located in uh, southern indiana about an hour west of louisville thank you